live in Edenton. I was born here and I love this place better than anywhere in the world. I'm from Long Island, New York, from a town called Malvern, which is on the south shore of Long Island. I am intrigued with Edenton. My wife and I are both from Mississippi. Uh, we spent 15 years in Florida and just looking to get back to a small town. Tripped over Edenton accidentally and after a few years ended up coming here. Edenton tells a story. I think it tells the story of America and it has some uh, exciting things of people who rose above the adversity while they were in Edenton. We wanted to live in a historic place on the water and it had to be in North Carolina or South Carolina and we moved here and we absolutely fell in love. Edenton is so unique. We are a real living downtown. We have a lot of the names that people look for when they're trying to find anything from appliances to shoes to jewelry to clothes. We have a lot. This is our local Arts Council and Community Center for Edenton. We offer lots of variety of things for our local artists. We have artwork, we have pottery, jewelry, woodwork, we have a metalwork. So it's a unique experience for you to come and get some good gifts. Everybody comes to the coffee house. This is where you start your day, you grab your caffeine, and you get to work. I come in every morning at 8 o'clock with all of them, and I'm the only one that still works. Everybody else is retired. So. And most of them have moved here, which is great. I mean, they're part of our sort of, you know, the people that have chosen to, to live in Edenton. And once they find it, they're like, I cannot believe this place exists. It's wonderful to hit the different historic sites. Uh, the trolley tour gives you a great view of the town. Uh, the walking tour with the wonderful homes and all the history here. Uh, the boat tour giving you a whole different view of the town from the waterfront. That in particular is the 1886 Roanoke River Lighthouse. We're very pleased about this. This is the last original of its type in existence but the history of Edenton is what attracts so many people, but then they get here and they find there's a lot of other things to enjoy also. We're standing in the parlor room of the Penelope Barker House, and the Penelope Barker House is significant because of Penelope and the Edenton Tea Party. She orchestrated a women's movement, it was 50 women together, and they signed a petition, so it was a lot different than the men up in Boston. In here we actually have our exhibit of the Women of Distinction. The Women of Distinction exhibit is uh, where we have our featured women such as Josephine Leary, um, soon hopefully Harriet Jacobs, Mrs. Elizabeth Van Moore, and Penelope Barker. A lot of visitors will come to Edenton because of our historical ambiance. Edenton has one of the largest collections of intact uh, 18th and 19th century buildings in the state. The Cupola House is one of the premier historic structures in this region and it's considered one of the crown jewels in the town's historical collection. It's the James Iredell home that's part of our historic Edenton State Historic Site. Um, there's the 1767 Chowan County Courthouse. And of course, one of our latest um, restorations is the 1886 Roanoke River Lighthouse located down on the waterfront. I think I, I fell in love with this idea about maybe having a, a bed and breakfast one of these days myself. So I had a dream and I started collecting and saving. Eventually my uh, dream came true. The Granville Queen Inn is a neoclassical revival style home built in 1907. People love coming here because they say they feel like royalty. A lot of the guests really want a quiet getaway and they just want to relax, so it's really nice to see them unwind. A lot of them have hectic schedules and they just come and kick back on the porch and just unwind. It's, it's wonderful to see them relax. I think most people come for the food. That's what I've heard from my guests. Uh, shrimp and grits is a favorite, chicken and waffles. I get my grits from Charleston and my andouille sausage and tasso ham from Charleston. 
Uh, I do private chef dinners, cooking classes, supper club dinners. There's the co original Cotton Gin building, which is unique. It has um, archwork. And I'd like to someday uh, renovate that as well. The restaurant is called The 51 House. So that name came about because I hired John Taffer. Uh, he is from a show called Bar Rescue. Signature dish is prime rib. The concept is to bring people back in time. So the decor, the signature drinks, the menu, everybody. I mean, I've never seen so much prime rib go out of a kitchen. Edenton Bay Training Company is a place where you can come for many reasons. We do have certain uh, merchandise for your home we sell. We have beer and wine. We have a wonderful courtyard where you can come and enjoy an outdoor beverage. To say vinyl night is a guy standing there playing records just doesn't cover it. Uh, DJ Eddie and his wife Melissa are wonderful hosts of vinyl night. Uh, Eddie is great at reading the crowd and knowing what they want to hear. You cannot describe vinyl night, you have to experience vinyl night. Spend a weekend in Edenton and experience the rich, diverse history of North Carolina, delicious foods, and incredibly warm hospitality. You'll see for yourself why America's prettiest small town is more than just a pretty face. To find out more about spending your weekend in Edenton, start at the Penelope Barker House Welcome Center at 505 South Broad Street. To plan your trip to Edenton, go to visitedenton.com.